10. Rizzuto throwing out the first pitch. 9. Fastball hit deep to right. It's looking in. Way back there. Oh! Sorry. 8. Lawrence Peter Barra, known to everyone as Yogi, star catcher of the New York Yankees. 7. Here's the payoff pitch. This is it. There it goes. It's out of here. 6. This ball club will be remembered by me for ever because you have heart as big as this city and you showed what being New Yorkers is all about. God bless you. Yeah. Five. Hits in 56 consecutive games. That's an all-time record set by the Yankee Clipper Joe DiMaggio. Four. Four. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Three. Number three will never be worn by another Yankee player, but will go to America's baseball shrine at Cooperstown, New York. Two. Derek Jeter ends his final game with a walk-off single. Derek Jeter, where fantasy becomes reality. One. One. That's not the way it's going to be, George. Damn right it is. If you don't like it, you're fired. You haven't hired me yet. What is going on, everybody? It is I, yours, truly, the Ace. Check on the rep. Yep, second and none. How are you guys doing out there? Happy Tuesday to everybody out there in the wonderful world of YouTube. Hopefully, you guys have had yourselves a good day. We're back, New York Yankees, at home, hosting the Miami Marlins Yankees were able to start the series with a not just a W but a shutout yesterday as well looking to ride that momentum today get another victory and end up with four straight series wins to start this season it's been a good season for the Yankees to say the least and I appreciate all of you for popping in here and supporting yours truly hit that like button on the way in as I'm finishing setting up for today's stream. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. We're on the road to 1K. Let's get there, ladies and gentlemen. Love to get there by this month. That's the goal for the Ace Avenue. Appreciate everybody for popping in. Um, Super Miguel Plus says, go Yankees. Thank you for popping in, my dude. Dr. Vaughn dropping all those emojis. My guy, thank you. Uh, Val in New York says, go Rodon and go offense. That's right. There we go. Um, My guy, mass coverage. She uh, with a member of Milestone. He's been a member of the Ace Avenue for eight months. Appreciate you, my dude. Thank you for all your support. I was on a couple of hours ago with Max on our weekly, call -in, uh, weekly, talk, weekly Yankee call-in show. We'll be back live on that one on Sunday. Hopefully, we see you guys there. Daniel Bear Sports Highlight and Mario is in the building. Thank you, guys. Hit that like button, guys. 955 subscribers. Like I said, we are um, 45 subs away from 1K. Can we get there? I think we can. I think we can do it. The lineups for both teams. The Marlins, Arias, De La Cruz, Berger, Bell, uh, Jazz is in the lineup in center field. Anderson, Garcia, Rivera, and Bethancourt, the former Ray, is uh, is behind the plate with Puck on the mound today. And for our New York Yankees, we got Carlos Rodon on the bump. Meredith is on the mic, so you know what that means. We're about to get started here. Um, Carlos Rodon looking for his third consecutive Solid start for the Yankees this year for 2024. We're going to have Glaber Torres at second. Juan Soto in right field. Judge in center field. DHing Stanton. First base Rizzo. Shortstop Volpe Verdugo in left. Bertie. No uh, Cabrera again in the lineup. Bertie at third. And Austin Wells behind the plate. <laughs> But I do appreciate you guys for popping in. Hit that like button if you haven't done so, guys. Cool. 
Carlos Rodon, <clears throat> see if he can get a third good start for the Yankees. Off to a good start so far. 2.79 ERA. What's up, Terry? How are you doing? Terry is in the house. Thank you for popping in, and thank you for supporting, as always, Terry. All right, we're all set to go. 7.05 start time. Game is about to get underway here. Of course, MLB TV is on commercial break when the game has already started. First pitch to Arias. Ball outside. One ball, no strike count. That's how this game gets started. We have a 1-0. We had to fast forward a little bit called strike at the bottom of the zone. Antonio is in the building. What up, Antonio? Says, let's go, ace is the best let's go appreciate that antonio thank you for all your support you're the best antonio thank you the one one to arias that ball misses high and tight arias drops his bat on that one a <laughs> uh, little, little bit of overreacting by arias yeah those, those high fastballs get a little up there but it's about two three feet away from your plate uh, away from your face dude Cadoza's in the building. What up, Ace? Good evening. What's up, my dude? How you doing? Here's the 2-1-2, two, two, the leadoff hit Arias. Ball outside. 3-1. Come on. Uh, come on, Carlos. Don't want to walk the first guy you face. The 3-1. And he will walk him. So that's how this uh, game starts with a leadoff walk. One strike thrown is the defense for the Yankees. On the outfield, Verdugo, same as always. Judge and Soto on the outfield. Rizzo on the diamond. Torres, Volpe, and Bertie at third with Wells behind the plate. Watching the Islanders versus Rangers. That's what's up. That should be a good one. But if you guys are just popping in, hit that like button. Here's Brian De La Cruz, the only man to get a couple of hits yesterday. First pitch is a swing and a miss. 0-1. Imara says he wants a double play here. Okay. The 01. Bow. 02. Quick 02 count here. Runner on first. One away. Uh, no away, I should say. Nobody out. Corey Blazer is the umpire, saying he's hitter friendly. Here's the 0-2. Rodon looking to bounce back after giving the leadoff walk. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets him on three pitches. One away here in the top of the first. Runner on first. What's up, Jacob? How you doing? Here's Berger. First pitch to him is popped up. Volpe's in the grass. He's under it. Makes the catch two away. Cado says Volpe's an incredible player. Yo, he's off to an incredible start so far. Yes, he is. Yep, and he's only 22. Here's Josh Bell. Pitcher steps off. <laughs> yeah, we do have a rested pin because of Nesta Cortez yesterday. Two outs here after the leadoff walk. First pitch to Bell is a called strike, bottom of the zone, 0 1.
That's what's up, Jacob. Congratulations. The 01. Bow. 02. One strike away from getting out of this inning quickly. Come on, uh, Nestor. I mean, not Nestor. Come on, uh, Rodon. That was Nestor yesterday. Nestor, was the, Nestor wheeled and dealed yesterday. Had himself a good start yesterday. Shout out to Nestor Cortez. The 0-2 to Rodon. Nestor was cruising. The pitch swing and a miss. So after the leadoff walk, Rodon gets a 1-2-3. A strikeout, pop out, and a strikeout. But we're heading to the bottom of the first inning. Top of the order coming up for the Yankees. First at-bats today to line up once again. Torres, Soto, and Judge will be leading off this inning. Stanton, Rizzo, Volpe, Verdugo, Bertie, and Austin Wells. Who is getting that first New York Yankee hit today? Put it in the chat, guys. I'm going to say Soto is getting that first Yankee hit. Hit that, hit that like button, guys. New to the channel, hit that sub. Jacob says Graber and Judge getting a home run. Look, I said on uh, on the weekly show, I think Judge Judge is gonna homer today. He's due. The lineups, Torres, Soto, Judge, Stan, and Rizzo, Volpe, Verdugo, Bertie, and Wells. Jay, my guy, is in the building, says Soto. Sounds good. Okay. Here's Glaber Torres. Antonio says he wants Soto to home run. Judge saying, Cadoza saying, Judge first hit. Okay. Here's the lefty AJ Puck. Imario, you don't have to spam the chat, bro. That, that stuff like that isn't worth me reading out loud, so I'm not going to read it. But I understand what you're saying, dude. I got you. Like, you're, you're I know you're spamming it because you want me to read it, but I, I, I saw what you said. I got you, bro. Thank you, Imario. Here's Glaber Torres. First pitch to Glaber from AJ Puck. Ball. One ball, no strikes. Val says, just got in. How's Rodon looking? Two Ks, two strikeouts so far. Struck out two out of three guys. The 1 0. The pitch swing and a miss. Glaber Torres was swinging for the fences on that one. 1 1. Cadeau says, two Ks, Val, and welcome in. The 1-1. One, one. Ball low, 2-1. The 2-1 two, is fouled away, 2-2. Two, two. The 2-2 two -two takes a ball inside. Full count here to Glaber Torres, a leadoff hitter. The 3-2, Glaber hits that to right field, popped it up. The right fielder's there, and he makes the catch. One away here in the bottom of the first. My guy, Brandon, is in the building. Says, she, uh, thank you, my guy. Appreciate that. Thank you for dropping those emojis, Val. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Juan Soto. Drop those Soto emojis in the chat like Jay and Val just did. First pitch to Soto. Ball outside. One ball, no strike count.
the one oh ball just misses outside jacob dropping those 22 so we have a 2-0 count here The 2-0 ball inside. Two good takes right there by Soto. Leads to a 3-0 count. <laughs> Judge stands on deck. The 3-0 to Juan Soto is a cold strike in the outside corner. Soto took a step towards first, but that was a strike. To the 12 people in the, in the building, 26 total. Appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, guys. The 3-1 to the two-hole hitter, Soto. Takes that outside. Three good takes right there by Soto. Puts him on first. One away. Drop those all-rise emojis in the chat, guys, for Aaron Judge. Number 99, the captain. I thought I think he's gonna get a home run today. Let's see if he can do it. Kadoza says all rise. Thank you, my dude. First pitch to judge. Misses inside. One ball, no strikes. Runner on first, one away here, bottom of the first. The 1-0 misses low. Two balls, no strikes. Good take right there. Good at bat so far by uh by these Yankees. Puck already at 13 pitches. Val, thank you for dropping that emoji. The 2-0 foul. Cado says just missed. Yes, he did. And on his hands, just missed that one. 2 1 count. Come on, Judge. Here's the pitch. Ball misses high. Soto takes off and he steals second. Ball goes into the outfield. Soto's going to head to third. So we're going to have a stolen base. And Soto advances to third. He's in scoring position. And that, that should have been a strike on Judge, but it was called a ball. Soto with a rare stolen base. Still second, throwing error, advances in the third. Three one count to judge. Runner in scoring position. 90 feet away from the first run of this game. All judge got to do is just do his job, elevate something to the outfield. The 3-1, cut on and missed. 3-2, come on, Aaron. Rizzo, uh, Stanton is on deck. Stanton is on deck. The 3-2 to Aaron Judge. Ball low, so two walks in this inning. Puts runners on the corners. One away. Here's Giancarlo Stanton. He's had a hot last couple of games. See if that hot start can continue. See if that hot streak can continue, you should say. Val says no double play, Jeep. Yo, let me tell you. He's slow. He he ain't beating out no ground ball, Val. First pitch to Stanton is ripped down the line and foul. Stanton almost knocked in the first run of the game with that hit right there. Those corner balls are really hard to call because they don't have good angles on them. So you kind of have to wait for the results. Stanton, first games, three for first six games, three for 24. The last three, 500. Ball high. 1-1. One, one.
Jacob says, what do you mean? He ran from first to third for the first time in his career the other day, man. I would love to see John Carlos Stanton get an uh, inside the park home run. That'd be hilarious. The 1-1. One, one. Rip back to the backstop foul. 1-2. Do like a little league, a little, little league home runs where everybody's just throwing the ball around and see, just to see Stanton running uh, from from home plate, first, second, third, back to home. That'd be hilarious. Runners on the corners, one away. Here's the one-two to Stanton. Ball misses inside. Good take right there. Two-two. Twenty-one pitches for Puck. The one thing this Yankee, this Yankee team has the capability of doing is definitely getting these pitch counts high. Puck already at 22 pitches about to be. The 2-2. Two -two. Foul. Come on, Stan. Come on, Big G. Yeah, that was close, Val. That was, uh, that was close, but it definitely was off the plate. Two two, foul stays alive. <laughs> Pitcher steps off. Two two count. To the four hole hitter Stanton. Here's the 2 2. Foul. Stanton's battling up there. Giancarlo is battling. I got to DoorDash myself some more, uh, some more drinks. Got to get some more water. I don't want some juice. The 2-2. Two -two. Stanton hit on the ground. Right to third. That's going to be fair. And they're going to throw home and get Soto at the plate. Soto says safe. Behind the third base bag. And, yep, he's out. So they get the force at home. Stan reaches on a fielder's choice. Soto was going all the way. Good play by the third baseman to save a run. He was out. Good play by Rivera. To be honest with you, that was kind of the only play they had because the third baseman was behind the bag. It would have been a tough... They probably could have got Stanton at first. It would have been a tough play to double up. But smart play right there saves a run. Two on, two outs. Here's Rizzo. Pitch to Rizzo outside. One ball, no strikes. It's unfortunate the Yankees weren't able to cash in right there in that situation. It was close, but he was out. He was out. Soto, wanted, Soto thought he was safe, but he was out. The 1-0. Oh, Ooh, good back, good backdoor breaking ball right there. 1-1. One, one. Call strike. 1-2. The one, two hit on the ground, right to second, second baseman's there and we'll end the inning. So the Yankees leave a couple Yankees had some guys in scoring position, leave a couple of runners on. And we are heading to the top of the second inning. Do up Chisholm, Anderson, Garcia coming up.
Could you imagine the NFL putting the Giants versus Eagles in Brazil? Nah, that's too much. That's too big of a rivalry. They, they wouldn't put. They wouldn't put a game like that on over there. If I'm not mistaken, don't they usually um don't they usually send one of the lower attendance games out there to, to another country? Uh I just ordered it over the weekend. I just checked today. It hasn't shipped yet. I personally would love it for, would love it to ship before um I would love it. I would obviously I would love to get it here before Jackie Robinson Day. All it says is processing. It doesn't say anything else. So, but I just did it. Um, well, I did it three days ago, but it was during the weekend. So, saying it's supposed to arrive on the twelfth, which is just this week. So here's uh, Jazz. First pitch is hit to right field. Left field, I should say. I gotta get. I'm. I'm tired, guys. Left field. Verdugo's there. Makes the catch. I'm pulling. A, I'm pulling a max. I'm pulling a lot of maxes. Like we had the day yesterday in the home run call to that clip. Hit the left field. Sorry, I got easily distracted. Um, it says it's supposed to arrive April April uh 12th. So, that is Friday, I believe. So hopefully it gets here before. It should get here before um. Before Jackie Robinson Day, here's Anderson. First pitch, ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Pretty much, it looks the same as all the other hats. It looks the same. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of Yankee blue hats. um, Just with different logos on the side, pretty much. Called strike 1-1. One, one. It looks just like the spring training hat, except it's got 42 on the side. Like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, the 42 movie. Big fan of Jackie Robinson as well. So, yeah, I had to, as soon as they had that hat, I had to get me one. Ball outside, 2-1. But hit that like, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub. The 2-1 to Anderson. Anderson hits that on the ground. Right past the diving third baseman. Volpe makes a sliding stop. Gets up. Tries to throw it. But he couldn't get it. Infield single puts a runner on first. Uh, Max says three changeups from Rodon already. Hey, maybe Austin Wells is calling a good game back there. Would like to see more of the cutter. Maybe throw a little curveball action in there. Runner on first, one out. Here's Garcia who made a good play. Uh. The first pitch to Garcia. Swing and a miss. 0-1. The 0-1 ball high. One ball, one strike count. Here's the 1-1-2 one, one, Garcia hit and run action there, but that ball is fouled away. 1-2 count. Anderson was on the move on that pitch. On that pitch. Double play would be nice right here for Rodon as he's exactly at 20 pitches right now. Would love to see some length out of him on the mound pitching today. Hey, yo, that could be a pause. That, that could be a little bit of suspect right there. That's why I had to add the extra stuff on there. Foul ball. Run on first, one out, one, two count. That ball just 
barely misses on the inside corner. Doesn't get the call, 2-2. Two -two. You see a little bit of Didi in Jazz's game? Why is that, Jacob? Two two incoming. After this pickoff attempt, the two two swing and a miss, and a runner takes off, but he will steal second. Strike him out. Couldn't get to throw him out. Puts a runner in scoring position. Not a good throw there by Wells. But we will take the strikeout. Here's Rivera. Made a good play in, uh, in the last inning at third. Emmanuel Rivera up with a runner in scoring position. Exactly 200 on the year. 533 OPS. Anderson taking a big lead off uh, second. Disengages, and they're going to say that's a balk. Umpire saying Rodon didn't come set. So runner on third, two outs here. Let's see. Did he? What? He didn't come set on that? He was standing there for like two seconds. What do you mean? That replay showed he wasn't wiggling like the umpire was saying. The Marlins' first runner in scoring position this series. I mean, well, they only got two hits. That's not surprising. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Oh, that should have been called a strike. That looked like a, a good pitch right there. 1 0. 1 ball, no strike count. Anderson trying to disrupt Carlos on the mound. The 1 0. Bow. 1 1. The Marlins' first run of the series is 90 feet away. The 1-1. One, one. Cold strike outside corner. Good pitch right there. The 1-2 misses. 2-2. Two, two. Here's the 2-2 two -two to Rivera. The pitch, swing and a miss. Gets him down on strikes. Leaves a runner stranded on third. We're heading to the bottom of the second inning. Volpe, Verdugo, Berti drop those. Viva la Volpe emojis in the chat as the Yankees are in search of their first hit of this game. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate you. That happens a lot, Jacob. Sometimes certain guys don't pan out in certain situations. Hit that like button, guys. We're at 17. We get 30, and I'll give away some memberships. Let's go. And I will be gifting away memberships for every New York Yankee home run hit this season. You said that, Jacob? I said Soto. Jacob, you said Volpe the first hit?
and I will be live tomorrow on Grunt's channel. So I'll make sure to drop the link in the community tab early so you guys could join. Same start time, 7.05. Hopefully I see you guys there. They called it. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. Yeah, I didn't even think he was moving. And if he was, it was at the very slightest. Beautiful night sky in Yankee Stadium. Here's Anthony Volpe off to a unbelievable hot start. First pitch to Volpe is a cold strike in the inside corner. Good pitch there. The 0 1 to Volpe. Hit in the air. Center fielder is going back. He's under it. Makes the catch. One away here in the top in the bottom of the uh, second inning. Jacob says by the end of the year, Ace is going to be gifting a membership for every Yankee run. Now, nah, I don't know about that. Every Yankee home run is the most I'll do. Savius in the building says, What up, Ace? What up, Savius? How you doing? Here's Verdugo. 211 on the year. A couple hits, a uh, few hits yesterday. And yesterday's ball game. First pitch from Puck. Ball high and tight. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch to Verdugo. Verdugo gets all of that one as he drops down to one knee. And that ball is out of here. Alex Verdugo strikes first. Alex Verdugo, I should say. Second home run of the year. Puts the Yankees up one to nothing. He's a dog. Alex Verdago solo home run. His bat's getting hot. He got all of that one considering his ass dropped down to one knee and hit it. One nothing. Let's go. Here's Bertie. Birdie pops that up and out of play. Doogie got all of that one. The pitch is popped up on the infield. Arias is in the grass and he will make the catch. Two outs. Here's Austin Wells. First pitch to Wells. They called striking the outside corner. Wells, 150 in a year. He needs to get more playing time. I love Jose Trevino, but until he starts getting going, Wells has to play consecutive games. Like he's gotta, he's gotta start. The 1-0 couldn't hold up on that one. Strike. 0-2. Yeah, I do want Cabrera in. You know that, Jay. He's my third baseman. I definitely think Cabrera needs to play. I don't know why he's not. He's going to cool off. The 0-2 swung on it, missed. And that will end the inning. But the New York Yankees get on the board first. Compliments of Alex Verdugo with a solo home run. We're heading to the top of the third inning. Due up for the Marlins. 9-1-2. Bethancourt, Arias, De La Cruz. As for Dugo's bats coming along, I'm, I keep saying it. This Yankee lineup has potential to be really, really dangerous, guys. 
Lil Wesley is in the building. Good evening, bro. Go Yankees. What's going on, Lil Wesley? You got any bets tonight, man? But hit that like button, guys. One away for 20. Lil Wesley, you be hitting on these bets, man. You need, you need to tell me what I need to do, man. I need to get some bets. I need to get some, uh, some bread, man. You be winning them all. So far, 62% of you say Volpe's off to a hotter start than Soto. Got the Yankees money line. Okay, that's what's up. Here's uh, Rodon is back on the bump to face. Bethancourt shows bunt takes the ball low. They got a wrestler in the... Uh, I'm I'm popping over to Max's real quick. I want to see what he's got to say on that. They got a wrestler in the, uh, in the booth. The 1-0. Swing and a miss. The 1-1 one, one is hit in the air. Verdugo is under it. Makes the catch. One away. All right. Arias is up. Walked in his first at bat. Ball, one ball, no strike. The 1 0, ball missed high, two balls, no strikes. The 2 0, fouled away, 2 1. Two one count to the second baseman Arias takes a called strike in the outside corner. That's a good pitch right there. Arias doesn't like it, but that was beautiful. The two two swing and a miss gets him down on strikes. Rodon dealing a little bit here, guys. Already his fifth strikeout. So far, so good for the Yankee pitcher. Here's De La Cruz. Ball. One ball, no strikes. De La Cruz, first K tonight. 0 for 1. MNY is in the building as De La Cruz fouls that away. It will reach the seats. Foul ball. Uh, says, let's go Yankees. Appreciate you, MNY. I will be live tomorrow on Grunch Channel. 7.05 start time, so make sure you guys tune in for that. MNY says, what up, chat? What's going on, man? The 1-1 one, one to Dela Cruz. Ball high. 2-1. I like Dela Cruz. I, I'm a fan of his. I like him. Ball, 3-1. Mets down, one to zip. 
in the first. Oh, yeah, I came back yesterday. D3-1. Bow. In on his hands. 3-2. Full count here. Two outs here. Top of the third. Here's the pitch. Hit on the line. Right field. Soto's there. Makes the catch on one leg. And that'll end the inning. So far, that is 12 scoreless innings for the New York Yankees versus the Marlins. We have shut them down so far. Yankees up 1-0. Looking to get some more. Do up. Top of the order is coming up. Glaber, Soto, Judge. Let's get some more runs, guys. And for everybody that's in the building, appreciate you guys. You know, For those that don't know, I am yours truly, the ace. Year two of the Ace Avenue, year-round New York Yankee play-by-play -by, -play by yours truly. Also, New York Giants content. So if you're a Giants fan, check that out. I got to get on that as I – let me tell you, I, I don't want – you know, I don't want to say this so far out, but I think I might have somebody that I'll be doing the NFL draft with. A lot of you have been asking. So I might bring on somebody that I'm talking – you know, he says he's down. I'm going to ask him again in a couple weeks just to make sure. And we should be good to go for the draft. And also, go check out my movie playlist where I do reviews, reactions, and rankings to all of my favorite movies and more. Uh, ha hasn't been that good of a movie season, but I got to make sure I stay on top of that. Yankees are off Thursday. Maybe I'll do some movie content. Kado says, hey, Damian Priest. Yeah, I had to go over there and ask Max. I'm not that big of a wrestling fan, so I had to ask him about him. MNY says, playing Destiny. That's what's up. What else do you play? Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Okay. Yeah, me personally, I play the show. I play I play the show. I play Rocket League. Haven't really been on the Madden kick in a minute. Um Here's Gleyber Torres, takes a strike at the bottom of his own 01. Rocket League, play a lot of. The show I play a lot of. Like playing, like Among Us, but I haven't, you know, that game hasn't been played. That game hasn't been hot in a minute. The 01 to Glaber. that should have been a strike. Doesn't get the call. The 1-1 one, one inside, 2-1. Two one count to the leadoff hitter for the Yankees is a cold strike two two. Juan Soto's on deck. Get those uh, Soto emojis already. I know Jay has them as Glaber Torres pops that to center. Jazz is under it. Makes the catch. One away. Here is Soto, guys. Drop those Soto emojis. He walked in his last at bat. Got thrown out at home. Thank you, Jay. Division two. I, I don't know if that's a game or is that or if that's a ranking for for you. First pitch of Soto. Ooh, high and tight right there. One ball, no strikes. Brush of Soto off the plate. Also play the Spider-Man games. I'm a big fan of those. Spider-Man games are really, really good. Soto with a three-run home run is last at bat. Division two. Okay, I've never heard of it. Is it a shooter? He his his last game, I should say. Um, 2-0. Soto yesterday's ball game, three-run home run. Really, really got the crowd excited. What an inning it was for the New York Yankees. Okay, that's what's up, M uh, MNY. 
I know my friend, one of my good friends plays Siege. Called Strike Outside Corner 2 1. I know that's a shooter game that's not, you know, that popular as like Call of Duty and all that stuff, but yeah. I just couldn't really get into shooters for real, for real. Foul. Evens up the count two apiece. As Judge throws that foul ball to a fan. Got you. The 2-2 two -two misses low. Good take right there by Soto. Evens up the count. Uh, puts 3-2, three 3-2. -two, three -two. Uh, Kadoza says, yeah, same. Shooters aren't for me. Ah, they're not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just like sports games aren't for everybody. So, you you know, it is what it is. If you had a PS5, uh, if, if you had a PS5, you'd be playing a show. Okay. Well, get yourself one. I play, um, oh, I don't know what the umpire was stepping out for. I mean, I have a PS5. I don't really play online too much. Rocket League's the only game I play online. Here's the three, two to Soto. Soto hits that in the air. The right fielder's going back, back. He's under it and makes the catch. Soto just missed that one, took it for a ride, but couldn't get it out of the park. Here's Aaron Judge. Drop those all rise emojis in the chat like my guy Jay just did. Judge also walked in his first play appearance. My guy Blue Hawk is in the building. What's up, man? Drops those Ace Avenue and, uh, and Yankee emojis. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just really couldn't get into shooter games. Like, I couldn't get into the Call of Duties. I couldn't get into those ball and time. I know one, I mean, I played Halo a little bit when I was younger. That was about it. But as far as classic games, I got to give myself an N64, man. Mario Kart. GoldenEye was really big into that. It was really big into GoldenEye. Mario Kart. Um, WrestleMania 2000. No Mercy. All those games were fire. Two balls, no strike count. J.D. Martinez is back tonight. Okay. N64 was the shit, for real, for real. Here's the 2-0. Called strike, 2-1. I actually, you know what's crazy? I actually just, um, because I got an emulator on my phone. I've been replaying all the uh, the Pokemon games, the uh, yellows, reds, and blues, and stuff like that. So I'm in a little bit of my downtime. Those games are fire, too. The 2-1, Judge rips that, and that's going to be a base hit. It's going to be extra bases as it goes to the wall. Judge with a two-out double puts a runner in scoring position for Giancarlo Stanton. You're an anime nerd. What's your favorite anime, Kadoza? But hit that like button on the way in, guys. We're at 22, eight away from 30. We get to 30, now gift away a membership. Let's go. First pitch to Stanton. Stanton gives that a ride. The left fielder is going back, back, and makes a leaping catch in front of the wall for out number three. Soto and Stanton almost both went yard. They just barely missed it. That wouldn't have robbed the home run. It definitely would have hit off the top. But a good play right there by De La Cruz ends the inning. But we are heading to the top of the fourth. Do up. Burger. Bell. Chisholm. Uh, that gifted membership was for Alex Verdugo. Forgot to gift him, uh, forgot to give him that membership. Don't forget to remind me, guys. It's new. I'm implementing that this year, giving away memberships for every Yankee home run. So that Verdugo home run gets Jacob a gifted membership. Congratulations, Jacob. Almost had almost had to give away two gifted memberships right there. So, yeah, Kadoza, what's your favorite anime then? Yeah, I thought, okay, you just post, you just, you were typing it as I said it again. Okay. I see it, Kadoza. Favorite all time? Um, DBZ, Naruto, and Yu Yu. Okay, got you. Yeah, those are, those are solid. I had just kind of, you know, obviously everybody's into Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball's, you know, RIP uh, to Toriyama, by the way. We lost him. We lost him a couple weeks ago. Um, DBZ, yeah, I, I just recently, not too long ago, got into Naruto. 
Wish I would have gotten to earlier. It's really good. It's really good. That's what's up, Choa. Thanks for popping in, dude. Bro, I was sad when, when Toriyama died. I was sad. Who's your favorite DBZ character, Kadoza? Or to anybody in the chat. Feel free to... Me personally, obviously, everybody, you know, Goku's dope. Uh, Trunks is actually one of my favorite. Future Trunks, I should say. Future Trunks. Here's Rodan back out there for the fourth. Burger, 0 for 1 with a pop out in his last at bat. First pitch is a ball outside. One ball, no strike count. Gohan, Trunks, and 17 in that order. Okay. Solid, solid. The 1 0 fouled back to the backstop. 1 1. Appreciate that, Blue Hawk. Thank you, man. Love Yamcha. For, for comedic relief purposes, sure. <laughs> the 1 1. Swing and a miss. 1 2. The one two is hit on the ground softly. That's going to be a tough play for Birdie. And Birdie barely gets him at first. One away. Tough, slow, slow uh, roller right there. But a good play by Birdie. So far, so good for Carlos Rodon. Keep it up, Carlos. Pitch count is very good, too. 46. That ball misses low. One ball, no strikes. All rise in the building. What's going on, man? Says, hey, what up, Ace? What's going on? All rise, my guy. How you doing? The 1-0 popped up and out of play. 1-1. One, one. Hit that like button if you guys are just popping in, guys. We're at 23. Get a couple, get seven more likes, and I will gift away another membership. The 1-1 one, one, to Josh Bell. Check swing. Did he hold up? He did not. Went around. 1-2. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, guys. I will be live, calling live, play-by-play, -play, manana on Grunch Channel tomorrow. Appreciate you, Jacob. Thank you. One out here in the top of the fourth. The one-two pitch. Hit on the ground. Right to Volpe. Volpe gets up. Fires. Two away. <laughs> two outs here. Rodon is exactly at 50 pitches. Here's Jazz. 0 for 1 so far. The 102 Jazz. Foul. Lewesley says, let's go. Hey, I know you're liking it. I know you're loving it, Lewesley. So far, Yankees are up. Need to get more, though. The 1 1 to Jazz. Foul. Neo, thank you for popping in. You've been gaming for a long time, MMY. That's what's up. The 1 2, ball low. 2 2. If you're just popping in, hit that like, guys. Three likes away from 30. You'll be at the game tomorrow. That's what's up, man. The Stro Show will be on the mound. Congratulations. 
Make sure to take lots of pictures. Tell everybody about the Ace Avenue. The 2-2 two -two ball. Full count. So you're going April 20th. Ain't that bobblehead night? No, that's not. I'm not sure if that's the one. Hits a left field in the corner, and that's going to drop. That's going to be a two-out double for Jazz as Verdugo throws the ball in. Runner in scoring position, two away here. Here's Tim Anderson, one for one so far. Yeah, I got to see. I think it might be April 20th. If it's at the stadium, I think it might be. That, that that date is ringing a bell. Like I said, Jacob, if you can get one of those bobbleheads, like I said, if you can get an extra one, I'll pay you for it and pay you to ship it out. So the Marlins with their second runner in scoring position in this series. Jazz takes off. That ball is high off the backstop. He was going to have that base stolen regardless. So runners on third, two outs. No chance for Austin Wells. Yeah, Birdie didn't even cover. He's had, He was having that base stolen regardless of the outcome. Birdie was not even covering. Tying run 90 feet away. The 1 0 to Anderson. Anderson hit on the ground right to Birdie. He's there. Throws for out number three. So, two times, right? Two times this game, we've stranded the runner on third. We are heading to the bottom of the fourth. Rizzo, Volpe, Verdugo coming up. I was just about I was just about to say it. Um, 13 consecutive. I said it last time, 12. So, 13 consecutive innings that we've shut this team out. Choa, my guy. Thank you for being a member for five months. She uh, appreciates you. Thank you so much for the stream. Thank you so much for being a member for five months. Appreciate you. Got you. Thanks, Jacob. As far as how many other, not in this series. Let's see when's the last time Yankees actually gave up a run. I know it was against the Blue Jays, but I got to see what inning it was. Sixteen consecutive innings where the Yankees have not given up a run. Sixteen consecutive scoreless innings for the Yankees. Going back to the sixth inning of the game on Sunday. 16 innings. Ron is in the building. What up, Ron, my guy? After this inning, I got to step out real quick. My DoorDash order's there. I got to go get my waters and juice. Good, Ron. How are you? Here's Rizzo. 28 likes. Hit that like button. Two away from 30, guys. Rizzo, 0 for 1 so far. Rizzo takes the first pitch right over the head of the shortstop for a base hit. Run on first. Nobody out. Drop those Viva La Volpe emojis, guys. Here's Anthony Volpe. Become a member of the channel, $2.99 a month. Gives you access to these emojis and puts you in a monthly member giveaway for your chance to win either some baseball merchandise or some Ace Avenue merchandise. Here's Volpe. Plays a small ball here. Bunts him over. He does show bunt, and he bunts it foul. 0-1 here. Look, keep, keep it going. Keep... Keep him going. Bunt him over again. 22 people in the building. Appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. Two likes away from 30, guys. Hit that like. 
The 01 doesn't show bunt. Volpe fouls that away. 02. I'm just all about keeping it with small ball. You, It's like Boone shows small ball once and then decides he doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, I got to do my homework on him, uh, Nelson. I know that he was just acquired. I don't think that's going to def- – Giants are definitely going – Um, Giants are definitely going receiver in this draft. The pitch, ball high. One, two. Don't be surprised with uh, Malik Neighbors. I think Malik Neighbors is pretty much going to be a Giant, in my opinion. Now, there are some rumors that Giants still might trade up for a quarterback. We'll see. The one, two, inside. Now, I do have somebody that's willing to come on and uh, and call the draft with me. Like I said, I'm going to check up with him again another two weeks just to make sure he's down. But so far, it looks good. I'll be covering the draft over here on the Ace Avenue. Yeah, Waller does need to make a decision. That's bullshit already. That ball is golfed. And if that's fair, it's gone. And that one is foul. Anthony Volpe almost gave us back-to-back Viva La Volpe moments. Just missed that one. That ball was about an inch away from hitting the pole. Volpe trying to get it to go fair. Just barely missed it. About an inch or two away from a two-run home run. If any part of the ball touches the touches the pole, it would have been a home run. An inch or two away. Like that much, man. That much. 2-2 two, two count. Yeah, you can see it as it's getting slow. You're like, yo, it's, it's hitting. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. And it just doesn't do it. They're reviewing this, though. Puck is already at 60 pitches, guys. Something to keep up. Something to, something to keep an eye on. Did it hit? I don't think it hit, but they're reviewing it. Someone showed a ball. Does it have a yellow scuff mark on it? They're going to say foul. Wouldn't the fans show the ball? If it has a yellow scuff mark, it's out of there. You got to straighten that out, Volt. Here's the 2-2. The pitch hit on the ground right back to the pitcher. Throws a second for one, and that's going to be a double play. What a turn of events. We went from taking a two-run home run. Instead, it's two outs. That sucks. Here's Verdugo. Coach trying to move up for Brock Bowers. I mean, I think I don't think they're gonna have to move up far. I don't think Bowers is a is I think he might be top 10 pick, but obviously he's not going in. You gotta realize this. It could be four quarterbacks going in the first first four picks. Then you're looking at Marvin Harrison Jr. Then you're looking at Malik Neighbors. You're looking at Joe Alt as well. Right there. I already named what? Uh seven guys right there. So I don't think they're gonna have to move up. I think Brock Bowers might make it in the top 10. Maybe. Here's Verdugo, homer in his first at bat, takes a ball high, one ball, no strikes. Twenty-eight likes, guys. Hit that like button. Two likes away from thirty. The pitch swing and a miss, one-one. The Jets need an offensive line. No, they're not stacked an offensive line. It don't let don't let the names fool you. They got a bunch of guys that at any point in time are very injury prone. Tyron Smith is very injury prone. Um, Elijah Vera Tucker just came off a major injury. You don't know what he's going to be. If the Jets are smart, they get an offensive lineman. That ball misses 2-1. Offensive line isn't the sexiest pick, but it's the picks that it's, – it's more or less the picks that help you win. Ball, 3-1. Giants need some offensive linemen. We – I wouldn't be opposed to the Giants taking a couple offensive linemen in this draft. Not high, though, because we did invest, you know, some free agency money into that. But we do need we do need some more offensive linemen. This is a make or break year. I'm telling you this. This is a make or break year for Evan Neal's ass. Foul away, 3-2. If Evan Neal don't perform this year, he's out of here. And we need a full healthy season from Andrew Thomas. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. 
Verdugo, who got the Yankees on the board with a solo home run, will extend this inning as he walks. Two-out walk puts a runner on first. Here's Birdie. Yeah, Jacob. I mean, dude, we could have got Slater. We could have stayed where we were, got Parsons. Trust me. I, I I know, man. I know. I know. Dave Gettleman for your ass. Here's Birdie. Called strike outside corner. Um, Puck, almost 70 pitches in this ballgame. Trust me. We got we got Kadarius Tony with turned into Waller, which Waller might not play. One of those picks turned into um evan neal who stinks so far trust me i know man ball high one one would have would have rather would have rather had slater definitely would have rather had slater but would have definitely rather have michael parsons but if, but chances are if you get michael parsons you're not getting cave on thibodeau so it is what it is can't can't dwell on the past if that's the case we could have said the same thing we could have had quentin john we could we could have take uh quentin over fucking saquon barkley now saquon's gone two one you can, you can question anything. Yeah, I agree. If Joe Shane was in that position, I guarantee you they'd take a Mar Michael Parsons. Running on first, two outs. The 2-1 two is call a call. Strike 2-2 two -two, evens up the count. 2-2 two -two here, bottom of the fourth inning. Nah, I don't think so, All Rise. Here's the 2-2. The pitch, way outside. 3-2. I don't think so, dude. Dude, Joe Shane seems to know what he's doing. Uh, look, I understand. It's not the popular opinion. It's not the popular opinion to let guys like McKinney and um and Saquon Barkley go. But it's like, come on, man. It's, it's smart. The moves that we made this offseason were still very good. The pitch misses, so two back-to-back -back walks puts runners on uh, first and second, two away. We're going, I think, personally, we're going uh, wide receiver. Would I be opposed to going quarterback? It depends on which one. I'm not trading up for J.J. McCarthy. Drake may, possibly. Daniels, definitely. Anybody that's been following me knows I like Jaden Daniels. You're, I don't think the Giants have a shot at Caleb Williams. Would love, for, would love to get Jaden Daniels. Here's Austin Wells. I mean... Drake, Drake May is solid. They say he's really intelligent as well. But me personally, it you know what you know why it has it gives people a bad taste in their mouth? It's because it reminds them a lot of Daniel Jones. Let's be honest. The pitch to Wells fouled away. Here's the 0-1. The pitch is lined on a hopper right to the shortstop who could have stepped on the bag when it said decides to throw the first for out number three. I'm going to be right back, guys. Uh, I got to go get my drinks in the front. Be right back. In the meantime, hit that like and subscribe. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Thank you guys for waiting. Looks like I didn't miss anything. Nope, didn't miss anything. Here's Garcia. First pitch, call strike. The 0 1 foul ball. Nelson says, I know Evan Neal said uh, he wouldn't switch to guard, but if you're him, look, he's going to have, look, if you're struggling, you might have to. You might have to. The 0 2 foul. That pitch misses inside and gets the umpire. It hits the umpire. Wells missed that one. And it gets the umpire off the, <laughs> off the glove of the umpire. Right to the umpire's Johnson. That's a nut shot right there. Cup check right there. A little bit of a cup check right there by Austin Wells. The pitch is lined to the outfield right past the glove of Glaber Torres, who tried to come away with a good catch in the outfield. That's going to go down as a single. Terry says, ouch. Yeah, I know. Trust me. I I've had that happen. Not exactly like that, but yeah. Hey. The umpire's lucky it's just off the glove. If they would have been off the bat, it would have been a lot worse. First pitch misses high. One ball, no strikes. Runner on first, nobody out. 22 people in the building, guys. We're one, uh, two subs away from 30. The pitch, ball inside, 2-0. Two balls, no strike count. Foul. 2-1. Yankees could really use a double play here. Rivera, the eight-hole hitter, playing third. Hits that on the ground. It could be two. Birdie throws a second for one. Glaber gets the double play. 5-4-3 around the horn. Puts two outs here in the top of the fifth. There we go. Five four three double plays just looks so clean. Two outs here for the nine-hole hitter, Bethancourt. First pitch is popped up. That's playable. Rizzo's there on the infield. Makes the catch. Out number three. There we go. So after the leadoff single, double play, and a pop out. Do up. Top of the order for the Yankees. Glaber Torres, Soto, Judge. Let's get some more runs, guys. This game is going by pretty quick as well. Yankees. 14 consecutive shutout innings versus the Marlins. Hit that like, guys. New to the channel, hit that sub. We just lost another sub. Let's get it back, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that, hit that like and hit that subscribe. Blue Hawk says, God bless you, Jay. Let's go, Yankees. Grunt says, tough poll question. Well, what's your answer, Grunt? What is your answer? You have to say Volpe? Okay. For those, I will be on Grunt's channel tomorrow calling the game. 7.05 start time.
Ernie, thank you for putting us back at uh 9.55. Five subs away from 9.60. Thank you, my dude. I like your avatar. It's pretty dope. Thank you for subscribing. You're going to have to say Volpe. Okay. So Volpe's off to a hotter start than Judge. I mean, than Soto, I should say. That's who I put on there. Man, like I was saying on the uh, call-in show with Max, the Yankees in search of their 10th win of the season here. They are 12 outs away. What a start it would be for the New York Yankees. Um, Like I said, I know th this is more or less, you know, said lightly, but it's like if we hit, we win. The only two losses, obviously, can be a shutout. But so far, the Yankees have looked good. We thought there's going to be a tough start to the schedule with a four-game set against Houston. And then um, a four-game set against Houston, three-game set against Arizona, the reigning NL champions. The Blue Jays always play us tough. No one expected the Marlins to be this bad, though. No one expected them to be this bad. They're off to a terrible start. Only one win so far. The Yankees looking to get the job done. 12 outs away from victory number 10. First pitch to Glaber Torres. Over two so far. Ball on side. Ernie says, thanks for the stream. Uh, stuck in Red Sox territory out here near Fenway. Oh, you're a Yankee fan, though, Ernie? But you're a Yankee fan or a, uh, a baseball fan or a Marlins fan? First pitch. Sec that was a strike. That wasn't a strike. 1-1 one, one count to Glaber Torres. Red Sox fan in a, a – not a Red Sox fan. A uh, Yankee fan in Red Sox territory. Man, that's crazy. You got, you got a lot of fight to put up with out there. Yankee fans since the 80s. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for finding the channel. I always ask people that say they're new to the channel, how'd you find the Ace Avenue? How'd you come across it? The 2-1 to Glaber. Glaber Torres pops that up. Center fielder's there for out number one. Here's Juan Soto. Drop those Soto emojis in the chat, guys, if you're a member. If you're not, $2.99, $2.99 a month. Get you access to these emojis, member giveaways, and members-only content. I will be live tomorrow on my guy, Grunt Baseball's channel. So if you're new, it's your first time to the Ace Avenue, as that's a called strike or one. Um, I go over there to my guy, Grunt's channel, once a week to help him over there with the lives. I'll drop the link in the community tab, so make sure you guys pop over there and support my guy Grunt. Blue Hawk, you you'd like my guy Grunt, a uh, former military guy as well. Does does baseball content? Blue Hawk, you should go over there and subscribe to Grunt Baseball. Ball. Good take right there. 1-1. One, one. So I will be live on his channel tomorrow. Call on a game. And then I'll be back over here on my channel on Friday. Yankees are off Thursday. The 1-1. One, one. Called strike. Good pitch right there. Soto shaking his head. Puck at 82 pitches. Soto shaking his head. Search Yankee play-by-play -play first. One came up. Couldn't watch. You were second. Okay. Missed one stream since opening day. Got you. Got you. Well, appreciate you for popping in, man. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully, this ain't your last time to the Ace Avenue. Like I said, I will be live tomorrow on Grunch Channel, though. But I will be live to, on uh, Friday. 2-2. Two, two. New York Giant for Life says, Yankee fan of Red Sox territory here. Another one? Hey, man. Y'all might want to team up over there and start taking out those Red Sox fans. The 2-2. Two, two. Hit on the ground. Right to short. The shortstop is there. And he throws it away. Soto. Advances the second on the error. So we're going to have a runner in scoring position. One away. Here's Aaron Judge, guys. Drop those all rise emojis in the chat.
Official scoring is the E6. Terry says, all right. Jakey's looking for the second run of the, of the uh, game. Here's Aaron Judge. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Uh, Blue, Hawk, uh, Blue Hawk, scroll up. Like three, scroll up. His, his uh, channel's in the messages. Grunt Baseball. Just click on that, and it'll take you right to his channel. Let me know if you find it, Blue Hawk. Ball high, 2-0. He just commented, so scroll up where it says Grunt Baseball. Click on that. Say go to channel. Blue Hawk says, let's do it, Mr. Judge. I said Judge was going to get a home run today. Let's see if he can. The 2-0 called strike outside corner, 2-1. The 2-1 to the captain in the dirt, 3-1. You found it? Did you subscribe, Blue Hawk? The 3-1 is a ball. That should have been a strike. So when I walk, puts two on, one away. All right, here's John Carlos Stanton, two on, one away. Yep. Subscribe to Grunt Baseball. Like I said, I'll be over there tomorrow calling the. Uh, the final game of this series. Terry, your boy is up. Jean Carlos Stanton, two on, one out. Let's get some more runs, Yankees. Middle of the order coming up. Puck, 90th pitch to Puck is a foul ball, 0 1. 0 1. O one count. To John Carlos Stanton. The pitch is a ball high. Stan, home run leader since 2017. The pitch, Stan hits that to right field, and that's going to be a base hit. That's going to score at least one. Here's Soto. And Judge is going to get the uh, stop sign. So we're going to have runners on second and third after the RBI double by Jean Carlo Stanton. Yankees up two to nothing. Let's go, Yankees. Let's go, Stan. Stan's getting hot. Stan is a very streaky hitter, but he's getting hot right here. Good piece of hitting by Jean Carlo, taking that, not trying to do too much. Just taking it to where it was pitched, hit it to the right side, and get him in. That's some good hitting. That's when I fuck with Stanton. Here's Rizzo. Like Val said, nice opposite way hitting. Oppo, yep, there we go. Appreciate that, Blue Hawk. Thank you. Like I said, I'll be over there tomorrow calling live play-by-play, -play, 7 o'clock. Called strike, 0-1. Lee's in the building says, stand the man. He's starting to get hot. I don't think it's a coincidence that since Lee came back in the stream, Stanton's been hot. Keep moving the line. Rizzo, all you got to do is a productive out. Gets another run. The 0-1 is fouled. 0-2. Come on, Riz. 
Nobody beats the Riz. Let's go. Hit that like, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub. Rizzo calls time. Five subs away from 960. Trying to get to a K before the end of this month, guys. 1K, the first big, huge Ace Avenue milestone. So hit that like, share the stream, tell a friend, guys. Just grab somebody's phone, tell them to subscribe to the Ace Avenue. I know you guys know Yankee fans out there. Tell them to sub. If you're over there on Twitter, come over here to YouTube. Hit that subscribe. If you say you're over, if you say you came from Twitter, I will I will gift away another membership. The O2 to Rizzo foul ball. We got a lot of people watching over there on Twitter. I want to know if they're real or if they're bots. I'm just curious. Who's better, Yankees or Orioles? I'm going to say the Yankees. A sacrifice would be good. It would be good. You know what would be better, though? A base hit might... Eh. It's going to take something to gap to score standing. A, a single is not scoring standing from second. The 0-2, ball outside. 1-2. Something in the stand runs so slow. Something in the gap still might throw him out. You just never know. You never know. Stand, I run I run faster than Stanton backwards than he runs forward. The 1-2. Bow. Rizzo stays alive. Come on, Riz. One, two count to Anthony Rizzo. Pressure situation here for Puck. The pitch. Rizzo swings and misses on a ball outside the zone. Come on, Riz. That is not a good at bat by him. Puck, 98 pitches. That is not a good at bat. Here's Anthony Volpe. Drop those Viva La Volpe emojis, guys. Riz, you better than that, man. Rizzo. That ball was close, and, and he knows it. That ball was closer to hitting him in the face than it was getting the bat head on the ball. Yeah, that's that's where you're trying to do too much. We got a pitching change. Sicto Sanchez is going to be the new uh, pitcher. Thank you, Blue Hawk, for dropping those emojis. And Terry, thank you. So Yankees have one run in here in the bottom of the fifth. Two runners in scoring position threatening here. Appreciate you guys, man. You guys are the best. For everybody that's found the Ace Avenue, you guys are the greatest. Welcome to the family, guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't done so. For everybody, commented, shared, liked, subbed, members. Thank you, guys, man. Yeah, Jacob, I think he did. <laughs> I mean, first of all, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he hasn't been back since then. I assume he got mad because I accidentally called him Jacob. He has, this is what you got to realize, right? Okay. Everybody, you got to realize, we're not just, as content creators, we're paying attention to the comment section, right? We we'll also have to pay attention to the game. We also have to make sure that the setup is going right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot to worry about. So the fact that he fixated over the fact that I called him the wrong name when I said, okay, Imario, I, I acknowledged it. I acknowledged the fact you said it, but you continued to spam it. Here's Volpe called strike. Oh, one. It's not just that. I mean, Imario's cool. Don't get it twisted, but he fixates, he fixates on stuff. And like, it's not his first time doing it. It, it is it is what it is. Skyline, thanks for popping in, man.
That right? You said it, not me. The O one to Volpe fouled away. Come on, guys. Let's get some more runs here. Don't leave them out there. The O2 is fouled away. Don't get it wrong. He's a cool dude, and I appreciate his support. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like you got you can't fixate on stuff like that, especially because I agree. I acknowledged it. I said, okay, what, what else do you want me to say? Check swing. Did he hold up? He did hold up. One, two. Lee says if Boone started the season with Volpe leading off, Boone would look like a genius. Yeah, but you know what? Volpe's got to earn that spot, though. You can't just give it to him. But I do agree that he's on track to be a leadoff hitter. The one-two ball out just by taking stuff like that. Last that was a good pitch. To, that was a good pitch that a lot of a lot of players swing at. Volpe last year swings at those and strikes out. He is one of the tops in the league as far as pitches seen. He looks like a complete 180 hitter last year. Ball, 3-2. Another full count. He's got a lot of full counts. Let me tell you, I think he's due to be eventually a leadoff hitter, but as of right now, he I like him where he's at. Here's the 3-2. Bow. Kind of swung a ball four there, but you got to protect the plate. Three, two to the shortstop. The pitch, foul. But nah, Imario, if I made you mad, man, my apologies, man. Sorry I called you Jacob. Come come back to the stream, my dude. MNY says uh, he's also a Navy veteran. Volpe is fighting up there. Salute to all the Navy veterans out there. I think Memorial Day and Veterans Day, I'll probably call the Yankee games on Grunts Channel. Just to, just to give a little tribute to everybody out there. Call a little extra stream. The 3-2. Volpe pops that up and out of play. So Veterans Day Memorial Day, I'll call those games on the Grunch channel just to do a little, you know, extra salute to the service. Because me personally, I can't speak for anybody else, but me personally, I appreciate the sacrifices that everybody that has been in the military has made for this country. You guys do what you do. You guys did what you do, so that way I can do what I do, which is this right here. And I appreciate it. It doesn't get lost on me. The 3-2 to Volpe pops that up, slams his bat in frustration. Volpe's starting to get emotional out there. Right fielder makes the catch for out number three. Top of the sixth inning, top of the order coming up. All right, it's De La Cruz Burger. Yankees did add another run here, so we're up two to nothing. Rodon in line for the victory. Now he's trying to get that quality start. Do, do, do. Keep us updated, Jacob. Appreciate that, MNY. Thank you. So if you're just tuning in, Yankees up 2-0. Verdugo, home run. Yankees get a run from John Carlos Stanton. So far in this series, 
Yankees looking for 15 consecutive scoreless innings against the Marlins. Twelve outs away from double-digit victories. Around the majors, Fernando Tatis go ahead home run for the Padres. Blake Snell three in three innings, three hits, three runs. Mike Trout fifth home run of the season, tied for the lead. Here's Arias takes a strike high. That should have been a ball. That's not a good call right there. 0-1. The 0-1? Foul. 0-2. Quick 0-2 count. Yeah, that was a bad pitch right there. I mean, that was a bad call right there. We'll take it, though. As Yankee fans, we know that shit happens to us a lot. So, it is what it is. Rodon, 70 pitch, 70th... 70 pitches so far for Rodon. Here's the 0-2. Paints the outside corner. Carlos Rodon says, can I help you? Luis Arias says, no, thank you. Just looking for out number one. One away here in the top of the sixth inning. Good pitching so far from Carlos Rodon. He is looking locked in right now. Six total strikeouts for uh, Carlos. Only three hits given up. Here's De La Cruz. Foul. 0 1. The 0 1. Hit on the ground. Right to Birdie. He's there. Throws two away. There we go. <laughs> 10 outs away. From victory number 10. Rodon, 73 pitches. He might be able to go to distance where he's at. If they're gonna give if they're gonna let him go to 100, he might be able to go to distance, guys. Maybe save that bullpen. Back to back good quality starts from both of the lefties would be lovely. Swing and a miss, 01. Jake Berger, 0 for 2, pop out in the ground out. Here's the 0-1. The pitch. Foul. 0-2 count. Let's go, Carlos. Get a strikeout here. That's seven. That's uh seven pitches in the inning. Here's the 0-2. Here's the pitch. Popped up. That's going to get him out. Rizzo's there. Foul territory. And he'll make the catch for out number three. A seven-pitch inning for Carlos Rodon. Gives him a quality start. We're heading to the bottom of the sixth. Do up. Verdugo, who's one for one with a home run and a walk. Birdie and Wells. Bottom of the order. Coming up for the Yankees. Ro, yo. Hat good, good start for Carlos. Carlos Rodon might earn himself a sound effect, guys. I might have to use that sound effect from the hangover where Allen's like, his name's Carlos. <laughs> yeah, he might. Yo, he, he's earning himself some props. Blue Hawk says, we are the New York Yankees. 27 World Series champion, number 28 incoming. That's right. Thirty-four likes. Get that like button up, guys.
All right, here's Verdogo. First pitch is ripped right at the first baseman. Underhands at the first. One away. Here's Birdie. First pitch call is strike 01. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt, uh, Lee. Grisham is not getting any playing time as Birdie hits that to the outfield. Base hit for him. Runner on first, one away. Yeah, Gr uh, Grisham has not gotten any playing time. I definitely think. When, when Dominguez comes back, he's gone. Here's Austin Wells. Would love to him get started. All right, so yeah, April 20th is Aaron Judge Bobblehead night. So if anybody is able to get me one, I'll, I'll buy it from you guys. First pitch to Wells. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Wells 0 for 2 strikeout, ground out. Ball outside, 2-0. Because that's the thing. You have nowhere to put him. Like, I don't even think the Yankees really wanted Grisham. We kind of had to take him to be able to get Soto, but he's barely played. But the Yankees are going to have a... When Dominguez comes back, they're going to have some decisions to make. Here's the 2-0. Ball low, 3-0. Because you got to figure, you got Stanton, Judge, Soto, Verdugo, and um, Dominguez. That's five guys right there for four positions. So somebody's going to have to be the odd man out. Or you're going to just have to have a, a good rotation. The infielders are going to have to play every day. That's a call. Strike 3-1. Stan's going to be DH and he can't play the outfield. Maybe you start, you know, if Stan struggles a little bit, Dominguez, DHs, play some center field. Give Soto some time to DH. Judge some time to DH. It's a good problem for the Yankees to have, though. Checks at first. He's safe. Birdie does have speed. Would love to see them utilize it here to kind of break this game open. 3-1 count to Wells. Good hitters count. Top of the order on deck. Here's the 3-1. The pitch, and that's going to be a ball low. Just missed. Good take right there by Wells. Puts two on, one out. Top of the order. Here's Gabriel Torres. The big bats coming up for the Yankees. Chance to break this game wide open. Gleyber Torres, 0 for 3 with three flyouts. First pitch to him is a ball high, but he gets called a strike. That should have been a ball. 0-1. Oh, 0-1 oh, to Gleyber Torres. Thank you, Blue Hawk, for dropping those emojis. Ball in the dirt. Good block right there by the catcher. Keeps the runners where they're at. 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. See, I'm conflicted about that lead because I know that he does have reps at first, but he's such a good outfielder. Do you really want to use him at first? The 1-1. One, one. Foul. Let me ask you something. What if Judge transitioned to first? Because they say he's been taking reps. What if he transitioned to first and you let Spencer Jones? I do like the fact that, you know, if, if Spencer Jones played first, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Because this is the thing. I like having lefty first baseman. Easier to tag. Easier uh, to turn a double play. The one-two hit in the air. The right fielder is going back, back, and he makes the catch at the wall. Birdie went too far, and he's not going to be able to tag on that one. So the runners stay put. Here's Soto. Drop those Soto emojis. That's almost three home runs that the Yankees have just barely missed today. I guess they don't want me to do giveaways. I guess they don't want me to do giveaways. Soto over two with a walk. Recenter error run. 
scored a run and stole a base. Now he just needs a hit. But what about you, Lee? Would you rather have Jones or Judge at first? Which one? Anybody can answer that. First pitch, call strike top of the zone, 0-1. The 0-1 outside. Good take right there by Soto. 1-1. One, one. But let's hit that like button, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub. Soriano is going to be the new pitcher warming up for the Jays. The 1-1 one, one is ripped, and that's going to be a base hit up the middle. Here comes Birdie to score the third Yankee run of the game. Wells goes the third. Juan Soto comes through with two outs. Three, nothing, Yankees. Here's Aaron Judge. Drop those all rise emojis, guys. Right back up the middle. That's a good piece of hitting right there from a professional hitter in Juan Soto. Soto's just so fucking good, man. We got to sign him. Give him a blank check. Bring him back. As he just points at the dugout. Let's go. Here's Aaron Judge. We'd love to see him get going. He's one for one, and that's going to be all for him. Pitching change. Here's Soriano to face Judge. Judge, Stan Rizzo, do up. But hit that like button, guys. If you're new, hit that sub. We're at 955 subs. Trying to get to 1,000 before the end of this month. Hit that like. New to the channel. Hit the sub. Share the stream on all social media platforms. Tell a friend. Tell them subscribe to Ace Avenue. George Soriano is going to be the new pitcher. Yankees looking to make it next inning. Yankees looking to make it uh, 16 consecutive scoreless innings against this Marlins team. Really close to almost 20 consecutive scoreless innings. That's not easy to do. Here's Aaron Judge. Drop those all rises in the chat for the captain, number 99, Aaron Judge. Mets losing five to nothing. First pitch to the captain. Cut on and missed. Oh, one. A 6'8 lefty first baseman might be cool. Or Dominguez, Jones, Soto. That means Verdugo after this year. Oh, I don't think... Yeah, I would, Verdugo's on a one year. I don't think he's going to come back. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. 0-2 count to judge. Let me tell you, I'm not opposed... To answer your previous question, Lee, I am not opposed to Spencer Jones playing first. He can do it. I like having a lefty first baseman. It's easier to apply the tag, and it's easier for a double play. The 0-2 outside, 1-2. That, 
that umpire, first base umpire, is very adamant with that. He did not go around call. He's like, no, he didn't go. He didn't go. All right, one two to the captain outside. Two two. Come on, Judge. One swing of the bat. Aaron Judge gonna break this game wide open. Double the score right here. Yankees up three to nothing. One swing can make it six nothing. Two two foul. Oh, that's a pitch you gotta crush, Judge. Pitcher steps off. The 2-2 two -two to Judge. Just misses on the outside corner. Evens up the count. Runner will be on the move from first, not from third. Here's the 3-2 to Judge. The pitch, and he walked them, so the bases are loaded, full of Yankees. For Jean Carlos Stanton, who was one for three with the RBI. First pitch to Stanton. Called strike in the inside corner. Nice little, uh, in, nice little backdoor slider right there. Wells on third, Soto on second, Judge on first. Stan, last time he came up with the bases loaded, hit a grand slam. Let's see if he can do it again. MNY says he's due as he fouls it away. I'm not going to say, I don't think he's due. He just crushed a grand slam the other day. And as they're showing it on Sunday, grand slam. MNY says he's calling a home run. Hey, we'll take it. Hey, he just hit a grand slam on Sunday. He's not, I wouldn't say he's due. Would we like it? Sure. The 0-2, hit on the line, get down, and that ball is going to stay up and get caught by the right fielder for out number three. So the Yankees get one, but they leave the bases loaded. Due up in the seventh inning, Bell, Jazz, Anderson. Let's see if uh, Rodon can get another shutdown inning here. Yeah, I know you wanted it, MNY. I know, I know. But three to nothing ball game. All right, nine outs away from victory, number 10, double digits. Let's see, the Yankees be the first team two double digits? Let's see. Yeah, with a victory tonight, the Yankees be the first team to hit double digits. If you hit a home run, you're going to play the Powerball? That's what's up. <laughs> That's that's what's up, M M N Y. Hey, that that Powerball is pretty high right now. I don't I don't personally play it myself, but I do dream. All right, Rodon back on the bump. 
Looking to get through seven here. He's at 76 pitches. First pitch to Josh Bell. Ball inside. One ball, no strikes. Bell, 0 for 2, strikeout and a ground out. That ball misses low. Two balls, no strike count. Come on, Rodon. Throw strikes here. 2 0. Here's the pitch. Cold strike on the inside corner. 2 1. The 2 1 misses in the dirt. 3 1. Ooh, watch Mojo just dropped a video. I'm very interested in watching. I got to see. Top 10, the top 10 times Joker was actually nice to somebody. I got to watch that video a little bit later. 3 1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. 3 2. Full count. Batter calls time. Rodon looking to get through seven here. He's at 81 pitches. Pitch count is good so far. The 3 2. And he walked him just inside. Puts a leadoff runner on first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch from Jazz. Ripped, and that's going to be a base hit. Runner had to let that ball get in front of him. Two on, nobody out. Better defender, Dominguez or Jones? Uh, you know what's crazy? The advanced stats show that, that Jones is the better center fielder. Dominguez is the better left fielder. So... Rizzo tried to scoop that. Or I don't know if he tried to bluff it. But they're calling that an error on Rizzo. It didn't look like it was near close to his glove. So that's it. They're going to put that as an error. Yeah, we could have used a double play. We can still get one here. So an error on the gold glove of Rizzo. Here's Tim Anderson, one for two. Single in the second and stole a base. Rodon, a little bit of a jam here. Come on, Rodon, pick your teammates up here. How about a triple play? First pitch from An to Anderson. Cold strike outside corner. 0-1. The 0-1 incoming. Two on, nobody out. The pitch, bow, 0-2. Come on, Carlos. Ian Hamilton's warming up in the bullpen. He's taking over that Jonathan LaWiseka role. The setup man for the closer. O2 count. That ball's high. One, two. The one, two. Hit on the ground, but foul. You talking about that Maze, the Giants guy, if they go quarterback? When is Cole coming back? It's probably still going to be like... Another, it's still probably going to be a while, Blue Hawk. He's just now starting to throw, which he just now started to throw this week. So we got to see. The pitch ball high. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, strike this guy out. 2-2 two, two from Carlos Rodon. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. 
backhanded by Birdie, knocked it down, and that's not going to be able to get anybody. Birdie couldn't come up with that cleanly, so the bases are loaded. Nobody out here. The Marlins are threatening here. Birdie with the backhand just couldn't come up with it cleanly at all. Everybody's safe. I don't want to trade either of them, Ali. So here's Garcia. And that's going to be all for Carlos Rodon. A single error and an infield single puts the bases loaded. That's baseball. Sometimes you don't have to get hit hard. It just had you got to put the ball in play. That's all you got to do. Marlins threatening here. Bases loaded. Nobody out, guys. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of baseball. You don't always have to hit it hard. Just put it in play. Sometimes good things happen. Ian Hamilton is going to be up to face the bottom of the order. That's unfortunate that Rodon can get out of this and leave it in a jam. See if Ian Hamilton can pick him up. All things considered, regardless of the outcome, Rodon pitched well today. It's just unfortunate. This is an unfortunate inning. Single error and an infield single. It happens. Uh, you can't really put that all on him. He's only going to be responsible for two runs. That error on Rizzo is going to be one of them if they score here. But let's see if the, if the Yankees can, can get out of this jam here. Still nine outs away for victory number 10. We're going to have a pinch hitter. Jesus Sanchez is going to be a pinch hitter for Garcia. Come on, Yankees. Ian Hamilton on the year. Four games. Uh, 4 2 6 ERA. First pitch from Hamilton. Cold striking the outside corner. That should have been a ball. Yankees got the call on that one. 0-1. The 0-1. Foul. 0-2. Come on, Ian, strike this guy out. The 0-2. Hit on the ground. That's going to be fair. Rizzo's going to underhand it to the bag, and he is out. Barely gets him at first, but a run does score. Ian Hamilton got off the mound really late, but they say he got him, and he did look like he did get him. Ian Hamilton, you got oh, you got to get off the mound quicker than that, buddy. So that plates the first run of the series for the Marlins. They have two on, one out, two runners in scoring position. Here's Nick Gordon going to pinch hit. They're emptying their bench here. One hit can tie this ball game up. Here's the pitch from Hamilton. It's popped up. Verdugo's there. That might get a run in. Makes the catch. Runner tags up. Goes. So just like that, the lead is one. I do believe that Rodon's only going to get charged for one of those runs because that run that scored was an error for Rizzo. So two outs here. Yankee lead is now one.
The Orioles are calling up Jackson Holiday. You know what's funny? I was just about I was just telling Max. I was just about to maybe go see them go see them this weekend because of uh um because they're playing the Yankees Farms team. And I want to see Jackson Holiday. Now I definitely don't gotta go. One zero count outside two zero. Yeah, I just said I just reported uh, Jacob. The two zero foul. That's big for them. That kid's gonna be nice, man. That kid's gonna be nice. Here's the 2-1. Here's the pitch. Chopped on the ground. Right to Volpe. Comes in for it. Throws and gets him. And that'll end the inning. But the Marlins strike for two. Yankees up by one. Seventh inning stretch time, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means. Take the time to stretch. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Do up for the Yankees. Rizzo. Volpe. Verdugo. Let's get those two runs back. I'll be right back, guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. All right, I'm back. Thank you guys for waiting. Le Wesley, thanks for, pop, for popping back in. Appreciate you. Yeah, we got to get some insurance runs. Uh, I mean, is it the fact that they're struggling or is it the kid is just ready, man? They're six and four. They just, you know, it's still 10 games into the season. But if he's ready to play, bring him up. Might as well. Fuck it. Bring him up. He looks really good, dude. He's going to be a spark plug for that team. The The effect that Jason Dominguez had on us last year, he's going to have on them. Can't wait to see him play. Like I said, he was from my, you know, he wasn't even in AAA that long. So it was hard for me to go go to uh, even go to a game to even go check him out. They were playing the Yankee affiliates uh, this week. I was talking to Max. I was thinking about going to. Um, I was thinking about going to a game, but uh, yeah, this weekend I was thinking about not calling one of these Yankee games and maybe going on a Saturday. To see to be see him and stuff like that and uh some of the Yankee affiliates, but obviously, you know, not anymore. 
All right, so Rodon still in line for the win here. If the Yankees can hold on to this 3-2 lead. Rizzo up. Let's get these runs back. Luez says, come on, Yanks, let's get it together. Yeah, Luez, Luez has got some money on this. Game summary, two runs on four hits, two errors for the Marlins, three runs on six hits, one error for the Yankees. Here's Rizzo basing uh, Nardi, the new pitcher, the lefty. First pitch to Rizzo, ripped, and that's going to be a base hit for Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo on base with a single. Here's Anthony Volpe. Drop those Viva La Volpe emojis for Anthony Volpe. Volpe over three so far in this game. Looking to keep his hitting streak alive. Andrew Nardi, five appearances, 16-62 ERA. Yankees are six outs away from victory number 10. Come on, Anthony. From one Anthony to another. The pitch misses high. One ball, no strikes. Good take right there. Volpe, 0 for 3. Grounded to a double play and two flyouts. So Sanchez takes over on right and Bruhan takes over at third. Bow. 1 1. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Lou Wesley. The 1-1 one, one. foul. Here's the 1-2. Hit on the ground. That might be 2. Throws a second for one and get... No, they don't get him. Volpe beats it out to stay out of his second double play. Called safe. So they get the force at second. Let's see. That's bang, bang. They might challenge that. It's originally called safe. I, I, I don't know. I think he's out. I think he's out. I don't know. It's it's going to be hard to overturn since they called it safe. But I thought it just barely beat them. But they're going to they're not going to challenge. Here's Verdugo, 1 for 2. Got the Yankees started with the home run. First pitch, ball high. I'd take off with Volpe here. Get him in scoring position. Let's get some more runs. Manufacture some runs, Boone. 1 for 2 with the solo home run and a walk. The 1 0 foul. 1 1. Ball high. 2 1. Volpe takes his lead off first. The 2 1 is a ball outside. 3 1. Good opportunity for a hit and run. Verdugo handles the bat well. Volpe has speed. Birdie's on deck. Volpe does not go. That ball is hit in the air, but right at the right fielder makes the catch. Two away here. Runner goes back to first. Here's John Birdie. I, I would still send Volpe here. I really would. First pitch, ball high. Snap throw to first, and he's back safe.
The one one the one oh. The pitch barely misses. Two balls, no strikes. I mean, you gotta protect the plate, Jay. If it's it was close, so 2-0. Volpe takes his lead off first. Doesn't go. Foul. 2-1. Two one count. The pitch is foul. Two two. I just they're not even sending him. Like you're 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 wasting his speed on the base path by not trying to like try you know make something happen. Maybe they make a mistake, throw the ball into the outfield. Maybe you get him to third. Then a pass ball might get him in. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just you're sticking him at first. The two two. Hit to left field, right at the left fielder for out number three. So we're heading to the top of the eighth. Do up top of the order. Coming up, Yankees six outs away. Arias, De La Cruz, Berger. I will be live tomorrow, same time. I'll be on Crunch Channel, so make sure you have that notification bell ring. I'll drop the uh, link on the community tab. Yeah, that's baseball. You got to manufacture runs. MLB Showcase, Orioles at Red Sox. Let's see some of the scores around the league. Let's see. Mets are losing six to nothing. All that hype that Mets had, Mets fans are starting to talk, you know, get excited yesterday. They might, you know, now, now Atlanta's putting it on them right now. The Brewers are up nine to five against uh, the Reds. Blue Jays are up five to one against the Marlins. Hold on, got to refresh. MLB TV, come on. We got an 0-1 count to Arias. Ian Hamilton's back out there. The 0-1, hit on the ground. Volpe's there, gets it, throws the first, out number one. Five outs away from victory number 10. Let's go. Here's De La Cruz. First pitch, ball misses low. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0 from Hamilton misses, just misses low. 2-0. Two balls, no strike count. That's ball three. Come on, Ian. You don't need to start walking, guys. Throw strikes here. We got dual arm action. Ferguson and Clay Holmes both warming up. The 3-0 from Hamilton miss misses. So four-pitch walk puts the tying run on first. One away. That's frustrating. Not even, You didn't even throw a strike there. Here's Berger, 0 for 3 today. J 
Jake Berger, pop out, ground out, fly out, uh, file out. All he needs is the fly out to complete uh, to complete it. Run out first, one out. Here's the pitch from Hamilton. Ball in the dirt. Hamilton, you threw five straight balls. Throw strikes, dude. Run off first, one away. The 1 0 is hit on the ground, right to Volpe. Throws a second for one. Glaber that throws it away. Oh, uh, Glaber Torres throws that ball away. The tying run is at second. The Yankee defense letting us down in these latter innings. Don't know if he would have got him anyway, but the throwaway puts him in scoring position. Here's Josh Bell. The pitch hit on the ground right to Glaber. Throws, and this time he gets some. There we go. So we get out of the side on one pitch. There we go. Three outs away from victory number 10. Do up. Wells, Torres, um, Soto coming up. Let's get some insurance runs. We need some more runs here. Let's get at least one more. Because you know when Clay Holmes comes up, it's not guaranteed. Ooh. Who's he going to face in the bottom, in the uh, the top of the ninth? Jazz, Anderson, and Sanchez is who Clay Holmes is going to face. Will he have a run, a one-run lead or a multiple-run lead? Anthony Bender is going to be the new pitcher for the Marlins. As we are a little over 9.30 here on the East Coast. Game went a little bit longer than yesterday's game. But it's all good though. Glad to be here and I appreciate you guys for popping in. All right, come on, Wells. Wells over two with a walk. Anthony Bender, four ninety one ERA, four games. Yep, need some insurance. First pitch to Wells. Bow, oh one. Glad, I'm so glad that error by Graver Torres didn't come back to bite us. Yankee defense has been very suspect today. The 0-1 called strike, 0-2. The 0-2. Cut on and missed. Wells down on strikes. One, two, three. Here's top of the order. Here's Graver Torres. Wells struggles continues. He's he he always gets slow starts are, are his thing, man. He's got to get it going. Glaber 0 for 4 today. Glaber looking for his first hit as well. As he's at 204 on the year. 
in jeopardy of dropping under 200. First pitch to Glaber. Cold strike outside corner. 0-1. Soto on deck. Get those soda emojis ready, guys. 0-1. The pitch outside. 1-1. One, one. The 1-1, one, one, outside, 2-1. The 2-1, misses low, 3-1. Come on, Glaber. Three one pitch is fouled away. Full count. Here's the three two. Hit on the ground, right to the second baseman. Throws the first out number one. Here he is with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Juan Soto. Drop those Soto emojis. He's one for three with a walk, RBI, and a run scored. Three fifty-six on the year. Got his second home run in last night's ball game. Eleven RBIs. The first pitch, ooh, good take right there, but that should have been called a strike. 1-0. Soto got the benefit of the doubt on that one. That, that was a strike. Thank you, Wesley. I know Wesley's on the edge of his seat. Wants to get that money line. The 1-0. Foul. 1-1. Neo says, let's get the do-rags ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Roman's on the bump. One, one. Bow. One, two. Come on, Soto. Clay Holmes, the closer, is warming up in the bullpen. The 1-2 misses outside. 2-2. Two, two. Aaron Judge is on deck. Judge is one for one with three walks. The 2-2. Two, two. Ball way outside. Three two count to Soto. Let's see if he gets something good to hit here with Judge on deck. As you know, Soto has no problem taking a walk. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. Right to the shortstop. And that will end the inning. So the Yankees go down one, two, three. Up by one. It's closing time. Let's see if Clay Holmes can make him go home. But they can't stay here. Anybody know that song? Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Let's go. Oh, 
Clay Holmes is up. Marlins are playing tough tonight, but you know what? If we're going to keep it 100, the Yankees have left some runners in scoring position. I've left some runners on. 20 at-bats, runners left on base. We should be crushing this team right now. Let's not, let's, yeah. 20 at-bats total. Uh, Torres has left two. Stan's left six guys on. Rizzo's left four. Volpe's left four. Verdugo and Birdie, one apiece. And Wells has left two on. So we've left a lot of runners on base. But here's Clay Holmes. Closing time. You don't have to go, Holmes, but you can't stay here. Let's go. Come on, Clay. Jazz is up. Doubling his, uh, his uh, last at bat. Takes a ball high. That should have been called a strike. 1 0. Come on, Clay. The 1 0. Hit on the ground. Sliding play by Glaber. Gets up and throws the first for out number one. There we go. Good job by Glaber Torres to keep a very fast runner off base. Good play right there. That ball did come out of Glaber's glove, but it stayed close enough that he was able to make the play. Here is Tim Anderson, two for three today. The pitch, cold strike. Good pitch right there. Ooh, that pitch had a lot of drop. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Come on, Clay. The 0-2. The pitch from Holmes. Swinging and a miss at a ball. Way outside the zone. Two away here, ladies and gentlemen. One out away from double-digit wins being the first team to hit double digits. Let's go. Sanchez, who was 0-for-1, pinch hit for Garcia, his last at-bat. He did get an RBI ground out in the seventh. He's the last hope for... This Marlins team. Yankees trying to win their fourth series in a row. Come on, Clay. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0. Hit in the air, center field, Judge is there, he's under it, and he will make the catch for out number three and victory number 10 for the New York Yankees. Yankees win the Yankees win. Start spreading the news. Let's go. 10 and 2 are the New York Yankees. For the fourth time in franchise history, they improved to 10-2 and two on the young season. Congratulations, Lewesley. Lewesley got that money line. Congratulations. Jay says the Yankees win. That's right, baby. The Yankees get a W. First team to 10 wins. Fourth time in, fourth time in franchise history. Let's go. Good victory right here for the New York Yankees. Carlos Rodon gets the W. A lot of guys left on base, but you know what? They got it done at the end of the day, and that's all that really matters.
appreciate you guys, man. You guys are the best, man. Hit that like on the way out if you haven't done so. Hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will be live manana on Grunt's channel tomorrow. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys as we are on the road to 1K. The Yankees make it four series wins in a row. This Yankee team is off to such a hot start. And so are we, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you guys. As always, thank you for tuning into the Ace Avenue. I am yours, truly the Ace. Adios.